to play player versus player. He's going to go first. You're his, you're his mentor. You taught him, right? Right? Did he teach you? He taught He's, me. Okay. He taught you? Good. So you're going to go first. We're going to see how good of a job he did in teaching you. Then I'm going to let you go. And then this kid's never sold solar, but he knows how to sell. Let's see how it looks. Is that cool? So here we go. All the numbers are presented. Are you a setter? Closer. Okay, you're a closer. He's sitting at the kitchen table, right? Are you? You're, 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 you're at the kitchen table with me. You've just given me all the numbers. Then I say, hey, I appreciate it. I need to think about it. Go. Absolutely. Yeah. Can I ask Andy, um, on everything that I presented today, do you do you like like the price? Is that is that good with your budget here? Well, I don't like it, but you don't like it, yeah. No, nobody likes paying a bar bill, am I right? Um, yeah, do you like how many panels you have, where they go? I guess, I mean, you just taught me about it today. Absolutely, and do you like the idea that you're getting all that tax credit? Sure, that sounds good. Definitely, man. Um, so that being said, if all those things are done exactly the way that you like it, is there any reason you see yourself not going solar in the future? Maybe in the future. That's why I didn't want to think about it. For sure. Is there anything different like from today that you see different from tomorrow? I don't know. Tomorrow's not here. No, tomorrow's not here. You're darn right. You're darn right. And like you said, all the applications that we sent in yesterday got approved. So all the applications today, they might not get approved. So when utilities go up three times, two times in the next year, what are we going to do if, when solar the grid's maxed? out, are we still going to be able to go solar then? Okay, stop. Let's rotate around. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, ready? Cool. Hey, I appreciate it. Thanks for giving me all the information, but I need to think about it. Andy, of course, and, and let me ask you really quick, man. Today you sat down with a, a potential want to do something that changes your current position, right? Interested in looking at more information? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So from what you saw today, do you see that it changes anything for you? Been going with your utility company? Yeah, there's some changes. There's some changes? Yeah. Would you say that they're better or worse? Well, some are better, some are worse. Okay. What one do you like the most? Um, I like that one day I'm not going to have a utility bill. That's cool. Perfect. That's awesome. Is there any way that you can see with what you're currently doing with the utility company that you'd be able to not have a utility bill? Oh, no. So perfect. So if this solution is affordable for you, the payment, is it affordable? $300 a month, can you afford that? Sure. Cool. So since it's affordable for you, let's go ahead and get this done. What's the last four of your social? Okay, but I need to think about it, though. No, I know. I know you do. And you can continue to think about it, and that's fine. But you're going to But hold on. Hold on. Listen up. But, but I need to think about it, though. Yep. Yep. Um, let's see. Hold on. Stop. Hey, guys. What's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. So here's what I want to do. No, 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 stop. Here's what I want. Guys, do customers feel uncertainty at times? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, whose job is it to, to fill in the certainty? Okay, now I want you to understand this. The difference in making millions or hundreds of millions or staying broke is this two mics. You guys feel me? So here's my goal. Is that it's your job to give the customer reasons and excuses to say yes right now and give them courage to say yes today. Now we're already at the pencil. We're already at the proposal. We're already here, right? So Jacob, I'm gonna give you a shot at this and then we're gonna talk about this, okay? And by the way, I, I'm a big eye contact person. How we practice is like who you are, right? So like you didn't look at me at all. And then you look at me like 75%, but I want, I want you to look at me the whole time. Dude, I want you to look into my soul as if like you understand me. All people want you to do is meet them where they are. Look, they want to say yes so they wouldn't have spent this much time with you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now they need you to sit down with them and give them the courage to say yes right now. Oh yeah. Ready? Jacob, I appreciate you, but I need to think about it. Hey Andy, I totally understand. However, all this is is a bill spot. There's really not much to think about here. Look, if I were to take a bill that we already knew that you were gonna pay and we were to make it less, wouldn't you swap that bill for a cheaper one? Of course you would. Look. Andy, all we're doing here is increasing the property value of your home and giving yourself a giant tax credit. And heaven forbid that the grid fills up at 15% in your area, which right now, it's at 13%. Even if you wanted solar and begged for it, you could not get it. So Andy, you won the lottery by not having it, but by still being able to get it. So Andy, you're saving money in all areas. This is a win-win. Let's go ahead, let's pass go, and let's do business. Sound fair? Okay, what'd you guys think? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everybody, everybody, listen to what I say. There's a little trick I always say. It's not a matter, your name's Oscar, right? Oscar, it's not a matter of if your utility bill is going to go up. It's when. And when it does, the question is, 
are you going to be able to be inflation proof from it? Yes or no? Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. So if you wait, we know that you can't. Look, when gas was a dollar a gallon, when it was a dollar, a dollar, everybody said it was going to go up one day. Am I right? Yeah. But it was a dollar. So nobody thought like, oh, well, what are we going to do then? Because it's a dollar now. Am I right? Your utility bill is what it is today. But it went to six bucks a gallon. When it did, what would have happened if you, somebody would have given you the opportunity, the option to, to sign an agreement to pay a dollar for your, for gas your entire life? Would you have signed that agreement? Yes or no? Yeah. Everybody's paying six, you're paying a buck. Would you have done that deal? Yep. But you weren't given that opportunity, were you? No. But I bet during the time when it was a dollar, if somebody asked you to do it, you probably thought it wasn't going to happen. Sure. Am I right? And now you're like, damn it, I would have done anything for that. You weren't given that chance. Same thing's gonna happen to solar. It happened with gas, it happened with milk, it happened with homes, it's going to energy, am I right? right? What's the one thing you're gonna pay till you die, no matter what? Or you're gonna run your house off candles? Energy. Yep. You're gonna pay for your energy until you die, yep. your very last day. Unless you decide right now to sign on the dotted line and go with solar, and then you'll have an agreement day where you'll no longer have a bill. And now it's a savings account, and you get to keep all that money. Also, if you sign that dotted line, it's like signing that deal with gas for a dollar a gallon. Listen to me, and listen up and listen well. This is an opportunity. This grid, the government, they didn't give 100% of the, of the people the opportunity to get on the grid. You know why? They want your money. Okay, that's why right now you get a 30% tax credit. We're at we're at 13%. At 15%, they cut off the grid. You're done. Even if you want it and you're rich, I don't care. You cannot have it. I don't like to be told no. Also, I like to be in control of my life and my situation. When I put six dollars a gallon of gas into my freaking tank, do I get pissed off at the gas lady? No. It's just life. I see everybody getting put out of budgets because they can't have control. Right now, while I'm at your front door, I'm going to ask you one question. Do you believe your energy is going to go up? Yes or no? And when it does, when they double it and triple it, a little bird told me in the next 18 months it's going to triple. If that happened, whatever you're paying now, if it's three times more, would you be pissed off? Yes or no? Yeah. I can ensure that you'll never have to worry about getting pissed off if you sign on the dotted line right now because you'll be inflation proof. You'll own your own system. And also, guess what? You won't pay your bill until you die one day you'll own it. Do you feel me? I swear to God, if you're sitting at the kitchen table with anybody at any time working any deal, if somebody says no and you're in a seated position, you fucking have that pen out, you get a damn piece of paper and you fucking draw a line down the middle of it and you put your situation now and what your life looks like if you said yes. And you fucking run the two all the way down. And I promise you, in front of them, you talk to them and you believe with all your heart and you speak with all your wisdom. Don't speak with your mouth, speak with your heart. Put your heart out on that table. Let them know, say, man, I am telling you, literally when I say this, I watch people every single day say no to things that could have changed their life. As I go down this piece of paper with you, I'm gonna go through this line by line. Interrupt me, stop me anywhere you want. But if it all makes sense, anything that should be done today shouldn't be put off for tomorrow. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Let's wrap this up. Listen to me. I'm not telling you that you're close. I'm not telling you exactly what you what to say. I'm telling you, are you convincing? Are you convincing? Can they look into your eyes? Do they believe in what you're saying? Can they hear from your mouth? Do they believe in what you're saying? And can I ask you this? If you're a leader in here, does 100% of your team sound like this? If not, fix it. Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.